to the Diecast Collection Vidar's channel. Here is the Oscar Mayer Hot Wheels Monster Trucks by Hot Wheels. Uh, at first glance, it looks like a hot dog sandwich, and you're right. This is a hot dog sandwich a monster truck. It looks uh, fun to look at. At the same time, it's tasty. This is based on the Oscar Mayer brand, and uh, I read on the Hot Wheels Wiki that this is uh, this truck uh, is based on the original casting. It's uh, called the Wiener Mobile. I don't have that casting uh, in my collection, so uh, you just uh, take a look at the internet to uh, see the comparison of the uh, current Wiener Mobile in monster trucks form. Uh, with the original uh, Wonder Bros 64 uh, diecast car version of this truck. Uh, going back, uh, this is a nice truck that can be, for me, uh, this can be made into a real uh, monster trucks that can be run on uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks uh, events if Hot Wheels uh, choose to do so. Because the way it was designed, I think that it's, it's uh, really possible. But we'll get to that once we talk about the interior. The make of this truck, uh, it's a standard uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks uh, uh, chassis and wheels, but the body, uh, there are some metal and plastic parts. Uh, I think it's a, let's say it's around 50-50, I guess, because the uh, orange part, the hot dog, is made with metal, and the yellow, uh, including the bun, are made with plastic, including the uh, windshield, uh, the windows as well. Let's take a look at the uh, Oscar Mayer truck in the right side. It has the uh, colorful uh, paint design. In the uh, bun, it has these uh, text logos, paint splatters uh, that uh, represents mustard and ketchup. The Oscar Mayer brand in the top center with the uh, little line for the door in the center. And that is for the driver to get into the truck. Windows, uh, it looks, it's opaque, but these are made to be uh, uh, smoked and translucent. In the front, it has the air intake, uh, signal lights, they even place the signal lights and the front lights, and I find them really good because of the uh, monster trucks. Uh, they usually omit these details, but this one is a well-decorated truck, one of the more well-decorated trucks uh, Hot Wheels released. At the left side, uh, I think uh, it's the same decoration. I'm not seeing any difference except for the mirror. Hot Wheels. Let's compare that. Uh, this is the Hot Wheels logo. And this one is just mirrored on the left side. Paint designs are the same. The branding and the paint splatters. And the paint splatters for the mustard and ketchup for the bun extends until the back, and we're going to check that out more later. The only uh, difference, aside from the mirror paints, is the line detail on the hot dog. That on the right side, uh, this is the door for the driver, and that's missing on the left side. At the back, there are even brake lights, and it looks really good for this truck. Brake lights on the bun and the hot dog uh, with the division for the assembly. The engine is still uh, be seen at the center back, just like the other muscle trucks uh, released so far. The other detail that can be found, aside from the uh, paint design, uh, the hot dog, the appearance, are these uh, marks, the teeth marks, on the 
wheel well part of the uh, truck on the bun. Uh, uh, it looks like it was bitten, uh, bitten by the customer. They're very fun to look at. The top of the Oscar Mayer truck has more of the layout of the windows. Nothing on the top, no paints, but on the bun part or on the bread part, more of the paint splatters or make that the uh, condiment splatters, the mustard and ketchup are present on each side. This is a well-decorated monster trucks uh, truck. The bottom is your uh, regular uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks uh, detailed chassis. And uh, I think that's the first uh, time that I've seen this uh, Hot Wheels uh, text logo on the uh, chrome chassis. I think this is new. I got to check this uh, detail on the other monster trucks that I have in my collection, the older ones, if uh, this one uh, is new or not. But I think this is new. Screw in the center if, if you want to customize this. The uh, mechanics of the trucks is still the same. And the uh, axles can move up and down for some posing possibilities of the truck if you want to display it. Uh, with the wheels turned either the front or back or both of them. Going to the interior, uh, like uh, other monster trucks, uh, vehicles, this can only have one passenger and that is for the driver. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I can show the uh, window being translucent in this video, but uh, you got to trust me on this one. Uh, the windows are translucent, although I can't show it right now. Uh, I told earlier that the truck can become a real monster trucks that can run on the events because this is a well done, uh, well done truck. Because if the driver can get in and sit here, the driver's seat is around this area. And that is just uh, about right here. When the driver is seated, there's the uh, driver's seat. He can see through the windows here. Unlike the other uh, fantasy models of the uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks line, wherein uh, it's uh, difficult to uh, understand how the driver can see from the inside uh, because uh, things are covered by, for example, the walls or what. The Oscar Mayer uh, truck allows the driver to see through the windows. And that's really nice. Maybe I can tilt the truck a little bit so I can show the window. But unfortunately, it's uh, too hard to do it. But uh, we'll just have to uh, let it be like this. I can't show the translucent windows, but they are translucent. And if you peek through it, uh, through a light source, you'll be able to see the driver uh, see through the windows. A very nice truck done by Hot Wheels. This is uh, one of the more uh, decorated monster trucks in the main line that I like. This ends my bid art of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile by Hot Wheels. Thanks for watching, enjoy your collection, and see you with the next model.